Barton in the slot who now comes motion left right. Flags are going to stop it, and this one has been certainly penalty a free in this one, but Bowling Green is going to get hit for an illegal motion, I do believe. I don't see who threw the flag. Delay a game. Delay a game. game. Well, and that 25-second clock is not operating here at Rynearson Stadium. They've had a malfunction in it. And so Ryan Henry did not have the opportunity to be looking into the uh, the face of a clock as you came up here on third and seven. Yeah, it puts you at a disadvantage as you see the clock. They got the, the innards are exposed as they maybe they're going to try and get inside there and fix that thing. Third and 12 now. The clock will start. Bowling Green, the 15-yard line of Eastern Michigan. Davis and Card in the pro set behind Ryan Henry. Long count Henry as the crowd comes up. Off the play fake. Guns it to the end zone. Touchdown, Ronnie Red. Ryan Henry right on the numbers on the post route to Ronnie Red. Bowling Green back on top is Blackney, and the offensive staff loves it. Well, they're tough on third down. They lead the Mac in third down conversions, 55%. But I don't know if they've had a bigger one than that yet this year. Ronnie Red, his, he had eight. Uh, seven touchdowns last year. That's his third TD this year for the Falcons. Boy, when it comes down to crunch time, they get the ball to that guy, and he does something big for him. Ryan Lever on for his first PAT of the afternoon. That's the first time the Falcons of BG have gotten into the end zone. Out of the hole to Mark Dunaway. Lever will uh, bang it through the uprights, and Bowling Green has stretched this lead back to three as this contest is going on the seesaw, Ray Bentley. That's our fourth lead change in the first half. How about Ronnie Red? Red already now with his third touchdown of the year as we take a look at it from ground level. A great throw by Ryan Henry. Red runs a, a post pattern. Uh, the safety got brought in a little bit. One-on-one -on -one coverage there. And Red, nice pattern. Beats Rodney Newbin inside. And it's touchdown Bowling Green. But they left 33 seconds on the clock. And Eastern Michigan had a lot of success last week in a two-minute drill against Central Michigan. Drove down and scored just before halftime. And uh, they got enough time to get something going here. Maybe we'll have another lead change before the first half ends. Absolutely. It's quite possible. Ronnie Redd, the senior out of Uber Heights Wayne High School. You watch the defensive backfield here. Watch Rice, number five. He bites up on Ramir Martin coming across. Mm -hmm. Is voided in the middle. When you get your free safety to commit and bite like that, if you're a quarterback, your eyes light up. Yeah. And if you're the defense, you're in a world of hurt. You like to see that uh, from the offensive standpoint. Defensively, you, you can't let people get behind you, particularly in a third and long situation like that. Or uh, invariably, the quarterback will find that open man and get it to him. Let's see if Derek Shore eyes will keep it away from Stevie Clay. Football rolling around. No nope, play's going to pick it up at the eight. Here he comes at the twenty. Tony Everhart got the first hit on him. Charlie Williams secured him at about the 22-yard line. So with 27 ticks left in the first half, there's Tony Everhart with a, an INT already today and that touchdown or that, uh, that tackle on special teams. One timeout left for Ronnie Cooper and his Eagles of Eastern Michigan offensively. I don't know. What do you do here, Michael? You got 27 seconds left. You, not that desirable a field position. We look at the scoring drive for the Falcons. Eight plays and 53 yards and 316. And as we saw, you got Ronnie Red and Ramir Martin on uh, that side of the field together in that double look. You certainly got a lot going for you. Ron Cooper has answered our question. He has decided to take a knee as Michael Armour will probably let this final 18 ticks melt off here in the first half. Not a bad idea. You certainly don't want to create a turnover for yourself and give Bowling Green a chance to, to not only get a bigger lead, but gain a lot of momentum going into the half. Just a moment, we'll be talking with head coach Gary Blackney of the Bowling Green Falcons as he and his ball club uh, get set to talk about it at the break. We've got 30 minutes. Today. Chuck Fuller on the kickoff comes up short to Bowling Green's Darius Card, who's going to give BG outstanding field position across the 40 at about the 43-yard line. Let's take a look at the numbers from the first 30 minutes of activity here between Bowling Green and Eastern Michigan. Uh, the big one, the passing yards. Bowling Green's Ryan Henry authors 172. However, Stephen Whitfield keeps Eastern Michigan on the ground at the 100-yard plateau. BG only 20. It all balances out, Ray, in total yards. Time of possession almost even also. 
Well, the Eagles wanted to stop the Bowling Green rushing attack, and they've done a great job of doing that. They also wanted to establish their running attack. They've done that, but they've been burned by the pass plays from Ryan Henry to Ronnie Red and Ramir, Mar uh, Ramir Martin. There's there that is. junior <laughs> Ryan Henry out of Kenton McKinley going to work in the second half. His first toss comes up short. He wanted to go to Trevor Stover, that tight end, and one hopped him over there in front of the Bowling Green bench, so the pass is incomplete. Henry 11 for 18 now with 172 yards and that touchdown toss to Ronnie Red to end the first half. Just another normal day at the office for Ryan Henry. Yeah, the big thing, no turnovers for him, and, and that's something that he has not done all year yet. And when you can do that, you can win some football games. Second and 10 for BG's Falcons just underway in the third quarter of play. Bowling Green dressed in their white, trimmed in the familiar burn orange and seal brown tailback michael parker steps through a tackle cross that 50 yard line right about at the midfield stripe where he well, let's check that keelan cates cates looking a lot like michael parker keelan cates getting his first carry of the day he is a division three transfer from ohio wesley and a punishing 220 pound tailback yeah he did a good job keeping the feet going broke two tackles there breaks another one here but he's stumbling down now and the pursuit comes with Ron Rice to get him down. We'll look at it from the end zone again. Oh, just a good job of keeping it going, keeping it going. And a nice gain on second down for the Falcons. Call it third and seven. They make it third down, excuse me, at about three. We'll uh, set that Bowling Green offensive line in a moment. Henry off play action, out route, Darius Card. Can he get to the sticks? Yeah, he took Vashon Adams with him. First down, Bowling Green. Adams on the stop of Darius Card, but not before he picked up about five down to the 45-yard line. First down, Falcons. Again, Card, a good, good pass receiver out of the backfield. You don't envy Adams trying to make the, the tackle on this. He's outweighed by about 35, 40 pounds here. He gets his man down, but not in time to stop the first down for Bowling Green. An offensive line for Bowling Green, left to right. Chad Buki at that left tackle. Sean George, Cal Bowers at the center. Bob Johnson and big Jason Peters. Henry again to put it up. Drills it into the middle. Ronnie Red slipped down at about the 31-yard line. Pass falls incomplete, but referee Don Amicone with a flag on the play. I think BG is going to get hit with the offensive hold. Well, we haven't seen a lot of laundry on the field today. And on, the, on that pattern, yeah, we do have a holding call against Bowling Green, but on that pattern, you see Red slipped down. He slipped down on the numbers, and when they paint those numbers, sometimes they get slippery, and I think that's what happened here. Let's watch him, see if he plants on the numbers. Yeah, slid right on the numbers. Good call, yeah, holding. I know I've on done it. Offense. Still first. I've done it too many times. That's going to set Bowling Green back 10. It's going to uh, bring up now a first down and 20 from their own 39-yard line. The line to make, well, let's call it 60. Yeah, let's call it 25. Forever. How about that? Maybe I'll stop looking at the board here and uh, just check the chains out. Probably a better way to go. First to 26. That is the accurate one from the BG 39. Long count, Henry. Play action, trying to set up that screen. A lot of trouble down he goes. Ryan Henry in a whole lot of trouble. Yousef Dibbles along with Dennis Parker taking down Ryan Henry's sack time for the Eagles. Well, he only had a three-man pattern that time, and it was good coverage in the secondary. And uh, when, when no one's open, the quarterback's got very little choice. Look at him. There's no one to go to. He starts to move out of the pocket a little bit. And here comes the brigade to bring down Henry for a big loss. Something Ryan Henry doesn't do a lot, take a sack. That's a 14-yard loss. Now the football is back at the 26. The line to make for Bowling Green to keep this drive alive is Eastern Michigan's 35. They're looking at second and 40. Henry wants to put it up. Ramir Martin will go high to yank it down at the 43-yard line. So that got 17 of it back real quick. Ryan Henry hooks up with Ramir Martin. That's the fourth catch of the contest for Martin. Now for 83 yards. Well, I don't know what defense you play when it's uh, second and 40, but uh, <laughs> we'll take a look at it. The thing you don't want to do, of course, is give up a big play here. So you, you get back there and you make sure you keep everything in front of you. Then you come up and make a tackle and, and limit the game. And that's what the Eagles did. And now we've got third and 21. From second and 40 to third and 21 as you get inside the helmet of Ramir Martin. That staggered set in the backfield. Henry's going to roll right. Looking. Got some.